Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, I will be revisiting the template creation process for string portrait videos. In my last video, I showed you the website but a lot of people have not been able to use that website properly. Either it's not opening or they are facing some kind of error. So I am going to show you another website where you can generate the portrait for the string art. And this website has more options and more ways to customize your template. So guys, let's get started. On your system, open the Chrome browser and then in Google search for Align Deco and you will get two results at the top. Click on the second link which is design.aligndeco.com. This is the link where you can create template for your string portraits. So there are three options picture loading, reset size, capture completed. So we start with the picture loading which will allow you to upload the picture for which you want to generate the template. Once you have selected the picture, you will see that picture placed against the circle on the right hand side. Using your left mouse click button, you can drag the picture up and down left and right. So you can adjust the portion for which you want to generate the template. You can also use the center mouse wheel button to zoom in and zoom out of the picture or uh, you can use two finger scroll for the laptops. So this will allow you to select the exact area for which you want to generate the template. It is recommended that you do not have too much background and you know you simply uh, keep the face area in the circle. Once you are done, if you are not happy, you can reset the size or you can you know place the picture, play around with it again until you are satisfied. And once you are done with the placement of the picture, selection of the exact portion for which you want to generate the template, you will click on capture completed and then the system will start generating the template. Now the website generates a template with standard options but there are ways to customize your template depending upon you know how much nails you have, what kind of density you want etc. So you can see multiple options at the center, uh, one is color balance then nail number and you also have density and you also have the total number of loops that you want to create. So let's start with the nail numbers, normally on the board I place 180 nails so I'll reduce that. 280 and then click on regenerate to recreate my template. Then I might not be comfortable with the total number of windings or the density. So if I reduce the density what will happen is that the face portion will become less dense and the hair and it's all the shadow and black areas will become more dense. So I'm trying to create that balance in the density of the uh, thread loops that is being portrayed on the right hand side on the template creation. So you can play around with these options uh, till you get the right balance and you can see that the template created on the right hand side is almost matching with the image on the left hand side. So keep on click keep clicking on regenerate every time you change an option and you are able to uh, balance the different customization options that are present on the uh, screen before you are satisfied with the template. Also I would suggest not to play around with the color balance because by default the options that the system automatically selects at the start are normally the best but you can play around with the color balance options also to ensure that you are getting the kind of template that you want and not something that has been by default generated by the website. Also on the right hand side you can see the colorful circles. So you can uh, click on those colorful circles to see how the portrait is going to look like in different colored strings. If you click on the preview output then in that case you will get a image download of the template and if you want to uh, create the template sequence then click on data output and then click on download. You will get a txt file text file which will have the sequence of uh, nail numbers which you are supposed to follow to create this string portrait. So here is the sequence of uh, nail numbers that I am supposed to follow. Please note that the sequence starts from 0 and not from 1. So for 180 nails your sequence will be 0 to 179. Also the sequence in which you will place the nails on the board is clockwise and not anti-clockwise because if you place anti-clockwise then you will see 
flipped output in the final portrait uh, as compared to the original image. So now comes the building part of the portrait and for that I am utilizing the exact same uh, MDF board that I utilized in my previous string portrait video. This board I got from a physical store of Itsy Bitsy but I think it is also available on their website. So you can visit itsybitsy.com and you can purchase this board from there. Also as you can see that I have put 180 nails uh, at an interval of every 2 degrees. Please note that these are not specific centimeter apart but these are 2 degrees apart. Now unfortunately I had uh, numbered the nails in anti-clockwise fashion but like I just said before you need to number the nail in clockwise fashion so that your final output is not flipped. Uh, also you can see that I have used a circular uh, white paper as background. For the actual making of the portrait, I am utilizing this uh, polyester black thread. Uh, please note that the weight of the thread is 80. The higher the weight, the thinner the thread is. Uh, normally uh, you will see 40 weight thread uh, if you are using nylon thread but for polyester you can get 80 weight thread and it is strong enough to build the portrait. And also if you use thicker thread then what is going to happen is that your portrait is going to become very dense due to the thickness of the thread and you might not be able to get the exact results that you are expecting out of the template. In my previous uh, string portrait video I had utilized weight 40 threads so the final output was very dense and the actual imagery of the portrait got lost in the thickness of the thread. So this time I am utilizing the weight 80 thread and let's see how the output comes. So start with the first nail uh, number that is present on your template. In my case this was nail number 134. So I'll start by tying a knot at nail number 134 and then I'll just follow the sequence. There is not much to tell about the actual looping process because I have already uh, covered all the major points in my previous video but I'll just reiterate couple of them. Uh, one is that always hold the string with both the hands. One hand is for looping the string along the nails use your dominant hand so if you are right handed use the right hand to uh, loop it you know along the uh, nail heads and you can utilize the other hand to uh, maintain the proper stress on the string because if the string gets loose then what is going to happen is that your portrait is going to sag in the middle so we don't want that so maintain proper stress uh, on the string. Uh, so that's the most important part. Other than that, uh, the process is fairly straightforward. You just keep on following the sequence of the nails in the template and there is no uh, complexity in that. You just need to follow the sequence. Another thing I want to say is that in case you feel that you have missed couple of numbers during the looping process then no need to panic. You don't need to unwind the uh, loopings that you have done uh, just recently and then go back at again to that num particular nail number. You can just continue doing it unless you have skipped altogether like 10, 20, 30 nail numbers you have skipped the entire lines in the template then in that case you will need to unwind uh, at whatever point you are and go back to the point from where you have uh, missed the numbers. But other than that in case of one or two missed nails it's okay because the template in itself is pretty redundant in nature meaning that for the same area there will be a lot of times you will be passing the thread through the same lines. So it doesn't matter much if you miss uh, certain numbers. So you can continue looping the uh, nails along the nail heads without uh, you know needing to unwind the entire process that you have done so far. As you keep on looping the thread across the nails, uh, slowly and slowly you will see that your portrait starts to form and uh, you can see the actual image starting to get reflected in your string portrait. 
and uh, it's not necessary that you have to complete entire template uh, till the last number because normally I never complete till the last number. So if you feel at any point, you know, that you have looped enough for your string portrait to look exactly or almost like the original image, at that point you can simply stop and you can tie off the thread on the last nail so that you can complete your template. So guys, I hope that this revised video of string portrait template creation and string portrait creation has been helpful to you. If you guys found this video useful and liked it, then please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also do subscribe to my channel for more videos on string arts and paper arts and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Till then stay safe, take care and bye bye.